We all want to save time and provide value to our audience, right? But how can we do both of those things at the same time? Well, there are actually two types of content every single one of us should be using in our strategy and we're gonna break them down together. The first one is macro content. Now, macro content is larger pieces of content that take longer for your audience to consume. Think YouTube videos, blogs, and podcasts. The reason that we wanna create these types of content is it becomes the pillar of our content strategy. Meaning that once we create this large piece of content, we can then break it down into smaller pieces and repurpose it across our social channels. And we'll dive into this more in a minute. When creating macro content, it's important that it's high quality and relevant to our audience. This means doing market research and keyword research to make sure that the piece of content we want to create is something that our audience is actually looking for. This makes sure we are creating content of value and it also accelerates the buying cycle by answering questions that our ideal client has and building trust. This is what I like to call your lead engine. Creating a way for your viewer to come off of something like YouTube and onto something that you own, like your email list, to then become a customer. This strategy can be used for any type of macro content like podcasts or blogs, but my favorite way to do it is with YouTube. Why? Because video is the largest type of content consumed and by utilizing the power of a search engine, you're allowing your content to work for you for years to come. If you wanna learn how to get started with YouTube and get your channel up quickly, make sure to click the link below to check out my YouTube Fast Track Formula Toolkit. Now, the second type of content we need to create is called micro content. And micro content is small pieces of content that can be consumed quickly. So think of things like Instagram posts, reels, TikToks, tweets, and so on. These micro pieces of content not only support your macro pieces of content, but they also fill in the holes of your content calendar. Not only that, but they're also a great way to drive traffic back to your website, increase brand recognition, and grow your audience. The key with micro content is to make sure that it's shareable to encourage your audience to like, save, and comment on each piece of content. When people see your content in their feeds, they're more likely to remember your brand the next time they need your services or your products. Now keep in mind, with micro content, it does require you to create more content and post more consistently to your platforms in order to be seen. This can be really time consuming and it's why I recommend using macro content and micro content together so that you can utilize both strategies. So let's go through an example together. Let's say that you're creating YouTube videos as your macro piece of content and you wanna be posting these videos one time a week. That means that you just need to create four YouTube videos per month. So let's plot those onto our content calendar. From there, you can actually repurpose your YouTube video into up to 26 pieces of content to go out across all of your other social channels. So let's break down an example of this together. So we have our four YouTube videos on our content calendar here. And now let's say we want to be posting to Instagram and Facebook as well. So we would break down our YouTube video into, let's say, three different Instagram reels into an Instagram story into a Facebook post and into three Facebook reels. So now that those are plotted on the calendar, we can check to see if there are any holes in our content plan and add other micro content in there. These other micro pieces of content that you're adding into your plan can be based off your content pillars. And I have another whole video on my channel where I talk about content pillars, so I'll make sure to link it in the YouTube cards above here for you. By creating a content strategy like this, not only do you save time, but you actually know what you're going to be talking about each and every day because all of your content or most of your content is all based around your four pieces of macro content. Now, I know you might be thinking, this all sounds great, but creating long form video content takes too much time. And I get it, a lot of people shy away from creating long form videos because they think it's going to take up too much time. But the fact is that you just need to have the right systems in place that allow you to create content faster. To get my exact system for creating video content quickly, make sure to check out my YouTube Fast Track Formula Toolkit below. Now, do you think this strategy would work for you and your business? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and make sure to share this video on your social media channels and tag me at Wanderman Creative. We'll catch you next week. Bye.